hello guys and welcome to the spice first time having your first male host you guys how do you feel so my name is Bola and i'll be your host for today and with me is blessing owen all right trust that when you have like just the both of us here ultimate fun a wonderful experience don't you think so Please, I'm offended away. already. I'm offended. So today we're going to be talking about various things going on in the country. We want to do politics, entertainment, crime, everything. And for our first topic here, what, what should we handle? Blessing. Sam for our killings. <sighs> that, that 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 that's a sensitive one. So over the course of the weekend, we heard people bring up things and speak about and fight the government zamfara killings and all that a lot of people have been kidnapped they've been complaining that that region is really unsafe for them and they're not comfortable with that and recently over the autumn. yeah and we heard like there were a lot of foreigners there in the mining area and so to say i think something happened to them and it's it's not fair you get it? it's not balanced people are not happy about it and so what what do you think happened about all that blessing Okay, um, I think for the killings, what just happened is that these people are just there, they're workers, they're just minding their business. And for a while now, I've been hearing that um, Zamfara bandits just comes and kill people, and most times they even kidnap people. Yeah. There's a kidnapping that was very, very rampant. Was something rampant. Very big. So um, after that, recently we just heard that over 40 people were killed on Saturday. Large number. Large number of very, people uh, that's so bad. were killed. And which was very, very bad. This these were people walking. As at now we don't even know what killed them. We don't know if it's the bandits yeah. or something else. Or probably there's something wild where they were or yeah, where while they, they were working. Where they were working. And so to say, because of this situation our people are not comfortable like going by the roads while traveling to Abuja, Zamfara and that region and they have resorted to going with the trade, mm. which is commendable. We thank the federal government and this administration for that. If not for that train, what would have happened right now? But the federal government's response to this situation is what a lot of people are still sketchy and not happy about. So a lot of people were like, oh, the president did not react to this, to, did not tackle the situation as fast as possible. And I think this hit our president somewhere in his heart, it touched him because he was not happy with what people were saying and his response was very straight and direct and what did you think about his response i felt yeah it was needed because people have tackled him constantly about not responding to situations that happen and they always say oh president muhammad Bari, your responses are always so slow to situations bordering nigerians and with this one he came out and said that it hurts him, him that people would think he doesn't, he doesn't prioritize nigeria not no i'm not quoting what he's saying but that's a summary of his speech he released this message on twitter saying that nigerians would think that he's not concerned with what's going on and all that and he needs to know he has deployed people that immediately he shuts down the mining of things around zamfara and has ordered foreigners to leave the area with yeah. immediate effect he gave them 48 hours for everyone to leave that place so it could be safe for, for everyone you get he deployed security personnel to investigate but, and supervise that okay. area my 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 own question is why wait so long before taking actions I, assuming i wish he was quick to respond to probably when he heard about the kidnapping and all that he would have just made a very quick yes, approach to it yeah. and not feel relaxed and i think that thing gave people leverage to do what they could do on saturday okay so most times yeah i heard that he might not be slow to respond to these situations not necessarily is how fast does the information get to him ah uh, your president that's 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 Please, what you well, people think that, because he's president can he does he have 36 eyes so we should you know he has reps like in 36 days who should inform him as things are going on sometimes i think we should check them there should be checks and balances how quick did you inform the president about this situation i'm not saying they didn't inform him i'm not saying they did I really don't know much about that but i'm saying we shouldn't all just always 
attack him okay. i believe there's a way we can see oh was he informed early okay when was he informed and how was his reaction those are the things we can put in place to understand this current situation okay. well um i'll be so talking about um, politics and everything they do i am so happy that all rumors about our pdp candidates Ademola Adeleke. Is he your candidate? My candidate, <laughs> please. Um, Ademola Adeleke um, is now qualified to be the governor of Osho State. Yes, yeah, it, it has been a long battle for him, I must say, because he has been going back and forth after mm -hmm. winning the primaries. It took a lot for him to even win the primaries. He went into the governorship elections, he won. Mm -hmm. I know that it has been a long battle. They cancelled it they made a new governor of apc's candidates they inaugurated him everything was moving swiftly until he recently won a coach just declared that he was actually the winner uh, of that case court of tribunal. yeah and now recently another case came up on him and said oh he was not qualified to be the candidate for the party because he did not have the required certifications yes, and all that but, he has but what i'm going to say is if at all they were to bring up that against him, ideally it should have been immediately after the primaries nice. and not when he had gone for to win the gubernatorial elections. So cases like that should only hold water when they are brought immediately after the primaries. That is, he's not fit to represent the party. Not mm -hmm. after winning the elections, they now say. And that's the only thing I, I looked at this situation and I wasn't happy about. But right now I'm happy that they have declared him winner and they have stated that, okay, yes, he's qualified enough well, we can to actually be... actually say that the man has fought a good fight. He was consistent. He wasn't he wasn't sitting at his failure. He was declared. He's an idyllic I mean. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but seriously, I, I really like the man's feet. He was pushing and pushing and pushing, and he never stopped. He was still persistent. And now, congratulations to you, sir. Keep the going and the moving, moving, and don't allow anybody to stop you. Yes, speaking about people who push mm -hmm. and people who move for things. Yeah, today we have Simi. So over the weekend, Simi went on Instagram Live and was answering a little bit of questions from fans. And a question came up as her opinion to um, people who are involved with um, 419 scam, like all these drugs, fraud, and all these things. Yahoo, Yahoo, as people say. And she didn't mince words i must say she said that she's not happy she doesn't support them as a person she would always correct people if she knows people are involved in all these things and another question came up at you see me you know that these young people boys are the ones are who like buy your, buy your cd play your song stream your videos on youtube and she came out and said don't buy it mm. you don't have to because if you are saying oh is that what you want to use and hold me down that because you do this and you buy this i don't do it then another video came up of People who were breaking her CDs already because she of that thing she said. And I mean, it was a very interesting break one. The CD, you go to the market, you still buy it now. Yeah, you get after, after you have bought it. She has made her well, money. She has made her money. She has made her money. She's only giving an advice. Yeah. Stop it. It is not good. Yeah, I, but I would the, like say the that image they have created for the yes, country. A lot of people have lost. I, oh, I am a Nigerian. So because I am a Nigerian, I can't get, I can't, I am limited to some things in life. Mm. Going to Dubai, I don't have to stay so long than a month it's it's not it's not yeah. it's not a good name it's for us good, yes not. and another musician came up and actually supported the movement mi mr incredible one of the greatest rap artists nigeria's ever had came up and supported it and said yes i understand that we're all imperfect no one is perfect but no one should tackle simi because one she's airing her opinion and we should not tackle people who constantly tell us the truth that the truth might not be in favor of us but if someone comes out and says the truth we should not i mean tackle the person but after all yes actually it is a bad thing yes. to do but if someone has come up to tell us the truth we should not now tackle the person that he doesn't see how that makes any sense moving to another story dangote dangote Dangote, Dangote. yes i must say the richest man in africa the richest black man still they find money he's hey. still looking for money and a recent video came up where he was interviewed by mo ibrahim yes so in this interview he was being asked about his trying times and his beginning so to say and he was like okay how did you feel when you noticed you were becoming rich and all that and his response was very very hilarious and he was hearing it but he didn't believe it he was seeing it on the papers but he didn't believe that he had so much money and so one day he decided there to go to a bank he drove himself went to the bank and decided to write a check for 10 million dollars wow he hey. said he was going to take out 10 million dollars just to see 
if he truly had this money very interesting when people are rich you say you are rich when you are big you are big when you are rich you are rich um, no one can compete with you hands up for dangote <gasps> and so he went in there and withdrew this money just to have a look at it to be sure do i really have this money hmm. he, he didn't hmm. want it to be on based on hearsay father he, he wanted to see and so All he, my with, prayers he withdrew answer by fire he withdrew the money kept it in his trunk hmm. went home opened it again and he said the next day he returned it back to the bank very i have not seen anyone who has done that i, I don't even know who can do that i can't even say because i for one i know i can't do that because i don't even have so much money but it's really commendable that yeah i i know people who see and want to always believe they say in nigeria seeing is believing so Balao, tell me how much do you have with him i i have nothing like dangote that means i'm big no, no, no. You thought you are big. It's a lie. How much do you have with you? I have nothing with me. Like Dangote. Dangote in the video also said, Oh, I have nothing, but he's the richest man in Africa. <clears throat> but, uh, Hopes for me one day. Wow, is Dangote a broker? No, no, uh, uh, the man, the man is working on cashless policy. Then Balance is working on cashless policy. Let us know your opinion about all our stories in the comment section. Mm -hmm. If you have anything to say, let us know. Be sure to share your views. We would also respond however we can. Thank you for staying with us on Despise. Till we see you next time, we say big bye. Bye.